So Sequoia is 15.0. So I'm gonna click the update now button after I get Wi-Fi working first. Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Studio 3B. Today I wanted to give it a shot, try to upgrade my Mac OS Hackintosh um, using OpenCore Legacy Patcher for the Wi-Fi for the Fenv T919 Wi-Fi card I have that is a Broadcom chip. And I am uh, running on a Haswell PC, which is an older architecture. So if you haven't seen how to install Mac OS on this architecture, please see my other videos. Uh, this is gonna be more of an upgrade route. So first of all, I noticed when I logged in to my Hackintosh uh, for the first time in a, several weeks, um, I did see the OpenCore Legacy Patcher had been upgraded to 2.0.1. So um, I did click OK and I upgraded that. But the thing is I have to reinstall my post install root patch. For some reason my Wi-Fi stopped working. Um, the Wi-Fi probably stopped working either because OpenCore Legacy Patcher needs to be upgraded or um, on my other hard disk within this computer I installed Fedora. And I think I remember something about that messing up the Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure which one it is. But what I'm gonna do first is try to get my Wi-Fi back on this OpenCore Sonoma. And then I wanted to go do the upgrade to the newest Mac OS version, which is Mac OS Sequoia. So Sequoia is 15.0. So I'm gonna click the update now button after I get Wi-Fi working first, just to make sure I have a stable system to roll back to. So let's go ahead and do that. When I click this, it's gonna tell me things like SIP is enabled. Um, I have to boot with 0x803 instead of 0x00 and secure boot model is enabled. I also remember if secure boot model is enabled that installations kind of don't go so well, they get hung up in the middle of it. So I'm going to go ahead and disable secure boot model and disable SIP. So let's go and go to mount EFI. And let's mount your main partition. And then go to proper tree. And uh, you know, you can download these off the World Wide Web. I shouldn't have to show you where those are. I'm pretty sure you should know where you can download those. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to open the EFI OC config.plist. We're going to go to secure boot model. Instead of default, it's going to say disabled. And we're going to go to CSR active config. And instead of all zeros, it's going to be this value right here, zero, three, all zeros. Okay, so I'm going to save this file. And then I'm going to reboot. Close this out and reboot. Once I reboot, I should be able to do this. Sit tight. Okay, one thing I did do after disabling SIP and secure boot model is I reset my NVRAM and turns out that allowed my Wi-Fi to work. So I did not install post install root patch yet for the open core legacy patcher upgrade, but uh, the Wi-Fi did start working. So let me just do this root patch now um, and make sure I'm up to the latest and greatest on here before I back up just to make sure everything's stable. Okay, and then you want to reboot once it prompts you. Okay, I'm back. I did upgrade the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I did the new root patching. Uh, secure boot model is still disabled. So is SIP. So first thing I'm gonna do before I upgrade to Sequoia is I'm gonna run a time machine backup. So 
that's how I do my backups on here. I haven't done one in a while um, because I haven't logged in because I switched over to Fedora on my other disk and I've been using that recently. So let's go ahead and do a time machine backup and see how long this is gonna take. Okay, everyone, I got my time machine backup complete. Now I'm going to try to run the Sequoia update just by going to the software update. Let's give this a shot. All right, it's gonna spend the next 24 minutes downloading. Let's come back later. Well, alrighty then, so we have macOS Sequoia downloaded and it prompted me to install. Let's give it a shot. Okay, looks like it's gonna take an hour. Okay, we are back. Sequoia was installed over Sonoma. Uh, looks like it went successful. Um, it rebooted a couple times on the Apple logo and eventually came into the welcome screen of Sonoma where you had to re-enter your Apple ID password and, and you had to accept the licensing agreement. But other than that, uh, pretty straightforward. I did notice right off the bat, Wi-Fi is now broken again. But um, since we still have SIP and secure boot model disabled in the um, open core config, we should be able to run this open core legacy patcher patches. Um, so it actually automatically prompted me uh, once I booted in here um, to put in the modern wireless root patching. So let's let's do that real quick. And then we'll reboot one more time. Let's give that a shot. Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Studio 3B. I'm back. Um, I did run the open core um, legacy patcher. I had the previous version. I think it was 2.0 or 2.0.1. Um, it did not work. After installing the legacy patcher, my system would not boot. So um, just to let you know that Sequoia 15.0 and Legacy Patcher 2.0 or 2.0.1 did not work for me on the um, Symbios I'm using, Mac Pro 7.1 and OpenCore Sequoia. So, um, so here I am back, I reinstalled Sequoia without OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So I don't have Wi-Fi still. So I'm going to give a 2.0.2 a chance this is a week later so this is out with a bug fix release i don't know if there's a bug in the pet legacy patcher or if there's just some basic incompatibility with my configuration settings and and the legacy patcher so let me give this a shot if this does not work again i'm going to have to reinstall sequoia or roll back the legacy patcher i think there's an option to do that um, from the command line or something but yeah, you could just reinstall, but um, yeah, let me give this a shot and I will let you know if I can get Wi-Fi working. So sit tight. Hey guys, so I'm back to Mac OS Sequoia. Um, good news is I was able to revert the root patches through the command line in the recovery console. That is able to be found on the open core website, the commands to write to the console to revert your open core root patches. But the bad news is 2.0.2 does not work with my current configuration, uh, Mac Pro 7.1 and um, Haswell PC and all that. So um, I'm gonna stick without Wi-Fi for now in Sequoia, cause I'm gonna try to test it out, see how it behaves, see if I like the operating system and everything like that for a little while. Um, hopefully I could either figure out that I have to change my configuration settings to be compatible or maybe open core legacy patcher will come out with a newer version that will support my configuration, but I'll have to sit tight for that. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching this video and this little adventure, and I hope that you uh, learned something from it and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing to studio three B talk to you later.